and Walsh was born in Gaul about the year 340. He was a noble family, he received a good education in Rome, and became a poet and a famous speaker. He moved from Melon, he was appointed governor. The voice of a child marked him out to the people of Melon as their bishop at the age of 30. Ambrose gave his riches to the church and to the poor. He was an eager student of the Holy Scriptures and the writers of the church. He defended the church against the Arian heretics of his time and led, and led the emperor Theodosius and his queen to penance. As a young man, St. Augustine heard him speak and was converted by his sermons. He admitted Augustine to the church. Ambrose was an example of a zealous shepherd of souls. His heart was filled with a gentle love for the poor. Ambrose died in the year 397. He left us many important writings on the doctrines of our holy faith. The church honors him as one of her greatest doctors and defenders. This is the reason why he is pictured holding a church in his hand. The beehive means wisdom. St. Ambrose's feast day is December 7th. He is the patron saint of candle makers. O oh God, God, by your, your grace, St. Ambrose, your, your bishop, bishop, became a great, great teacher of the Catholic faith and an example of apostolic fortitude. Raise up your bishops in your church today who will give strong and wise leadership.